the Dope Vision Experience. It's your boy Frank Nitty. I'm back for another episode. I'm locked in with my boy Wallace from the town, man. We're gonna locked be out. Yeah, we're gonna give y'all this boy this recap to this snowfall episode now. We're almost to the end. You know, it's coming down this episode, man. This is a pretty dope episode. It's probably one of the dopest episodes throughout this entire series of, of snowfall history. You know what I'm yes. saying? We we saw we saw Franklin, his nuts finally drop, you know what I mean? So this gonna this is the episode where he really get into it and he get into his bag and you know what I'm saying? He get I like how aggressive, you know, Jerome is in this episode, man. Jerome get aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Wrong. So it's it's going it's going down, man. So Wallace, talk to talk to me, man. What how you feel about this episode? Oh man, this episode, this shit was crazy, like you were saying, man. Hey, man, that boy Franklin, Franklin Nuts just dropped. I, hey, this whole time, I know, especially me, I was like, Franklin ain't that dude. Franklin ain't got it in him. Franklin ain't and, and man, and like you said, his nuts dropped and he didn't he dropped some folks. You know what I mean? And, and that boy Jerome Raw put up them dukes on him though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, hey Jerome, hey, he, hey, yeah. that was, and that was that was such a powerful moment in like the show for me, man. Like to just to see, I kind of see now why they had him on the cane all season. I know we've been joining him all year, all season, why he got the cane. But I think with him being on the cane, it made that scene that much more powerful because yeah. he knew that was the only way that he could slow Jerome down because Jerome just would not hear it from nobody. He was like yeah. not hearing it, so he was like, "Man, the only way I can stop him if I, can, if you know, if I'm gonna put up and put up these, we're gonna put up these dukes, we're gonna, I'm gonna shoot the fire, I'm gonna shoot the fire, the fade, and we're gonna see what happens." Jerome knocked him out, of course, but he just saw how he was sitting on the side of the car with the blood in mouth, like, "Man, when they talk to your sister and I talk to your wife, they're gonna say I did everything I could possibly do," and that yeah. like really made him kind of like take a moment and think, like, "All right, man, maybe I need to calm down for a second, You know what I'm saying? Because if he go through this length to stop me, then that means, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it got to be that serious. Yeah, for sure. If he go through this lint, knowing he can't beat me, he knowing know he can't beat me, knowing he can't he beat crippled. me, but he's still, he still willing to, he, and it's like, yeah, he crippled first, but then it's like, even if he was full go, Jerome would have put the hands on him anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hands on like, anyway. Yep. So, hey, I'm going I'm, I'm to put, hey, that boy took that pager to put the pistol on the hood. And said, let's, let's go. Let's, hey, let's, let's go. go. Hey, Jerome didn't even hesitate, boy. Bop, bop, what was wrong with like, you? Hey, Drop hey, it. Leon, Leon, like, man, y'all, hold on. He's like, nah, Jerome, like, nah, nah, nah. This was this nah. one. Because he, he, it felt like Jerome just needed that, man. He needed to get that off his chest because he'd been mad at Franklin all this time, especially for him lying. Every turn, yeah. he said, man, he'd he been wrong with every turn he's made. And so he just yeah. felt like, man, I got to get this off my chest right now. Get, and, and Franklin knew it. Franklin was like, he you know, knew it. he not going to, if I just try to tell him what to do right now, he, he not going to do it. But he, see, like you said, he's so mad. He got. He want to do this to me. I'm gonna give it to him just so, give, so him. I can save his life. Here, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Like, you know, and, let's and, go. And, and man, he let him have it. Hey, he, he didn't hold back. Boy, knocked him. Hey, no, hit him, in, hit him in the hit mouth. Him in the hit, him, and hit, him, hit him in the chest. Wow. And he was just yeah. like, oh, like I said, he got them brutal ball. He was like, oh, oh yeah. Dude. <laughs> To the ground. Oh, he hit me! Yeah, he <laughs> boy, he, was, he screamed when he hit it right. He boy, he got popped. He was like, ah! Drove was like, stay down! Nigga. Hey, I ain't playing. Like, he was like, nah, man. Is. But I got. He like, I got. He like, I got to let get this get this out of Jerome because if I don't, he gonna go get killed. And then how can I go to his wife and how can I go to his to his sister and let him know like look I ain't try everything I could possibly do to stop him so you know what I'm saying I thought that that moment when he was on the ground with the bloody mouth man I just thought that was so powerful he was like and then you can see him spitting when he was really saying the when he was really saying it real loud at that scene like how they yeah. shot it when he was yeah they just really did you know a phenomenal job in that seat in that scene man you know it's especially this whole scene, like that whole season it just be dark every scene they really be shooting it be dark and they have right. it, 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 mm -hmm. it how they shoot. The black skin in that dark be amazing, bro. I love how they shoot the black skin and makes it yeah. look good. It be glistening in that dark, man. They be Listen, having a nice black. Hey, you know, hey, you know, and Cherry Curry be, be tripping. Hey, Franklin be sweating because he knows that state. That boy be glistening out there. And you got Listen. Jerry Curl, you got Jerome, Jerry, Jerry Curl, Jerome nipples out. Hey, that boy, yeah. <laughs> Jam is wrong. Hey, Jam is wrong. I call that boy Jerry Curl, Jerome. That boy, all right, that yeah. boy. That J. Crow, he it be it be on point every time. That boy come up in there. Yeah, man. Hey, he was playing, but you know what, man? I gotta say, um, the writing. I always thought the uh, said the writing was great, but everybody, well, me, I ain't gonna say everybody wanted wanted Franklin. Like that dude, Franklin ain't got no nuts. Franklin ain't got no nuts. But the the writing, like, sh it has shown the Franklin changing. 
It's you know growth. what I mean? Like growth. Yeah, like Franklin, it's like I forgot. Like Franklin was just in high school. He yeah, was just true. in high school at a prep school. He ain't yeah, we all know he ain't that guy. So just just because he starts selling 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 keys, he will instantly turn into a killer. Yep. But the game t- turned him into that and they showed that. They yep. showed that. It's just so, like, okay. Because yep. like, Leon was great. always the Leon was always the one from the project. So he was always yeah. the aggressive one. He was always yeah. the one about that life. And, and you know yep. what I'm saying? Like I said, uh uh Franklin, he was the preppy boy going to the preppy school. He was supposed yeah. to have the big ambition to get out the hood. He was gonna do this, yep. he was gonna do that, and he didn't quite have messed it up. And he kind of fell into that life. He kind of fell into that yep. life when he was holding some coke. And so he's always been mental with the game. He was like, man, I can mentally yeah. get myself out of things. Not We don't necessarily have to always kill somebody, but I can mentally think my way out of it. Where Leon, he's more like, we're going to press the issue. If we got to kill somebody, mm-hmm. we're going to go do this, we're going to do that. But then, like I said, this this episode, it really showed him what it's necessary. Like, look, man, we got I got to do it now. This has to be done. Especially when, do like, when I talked about where, where T kind of set him up, and he figured out T set him up, and I figured that he was going to use her to set man mm-hmm. boy. Up, you know what yeah, I mean? I kind of yep, figured, yep. but but you know what I'm saying? How that whole dynamic, how it shook out where, where man boy is smart enough, but he's not as smart as Franklin because yeah. Franklin knew, hey, I'm going to get him to set, we're going to set him up with the plot. Come catch me over here on the other side of town. But man boy's like, now nah, I know it's a trap. I'm going to go back to the trap. I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to go get her. And he think I'm going to be on that side. But at the same time, Franklin in the back room already ready. I think, I think Franklin wanted her. And I, I thought Franklin, I, the reason why I think Franklin took a minute for him to come around the corner, because I thought he wanted her and him to kill each other. I thought he wanted Man Boy and her to kill each other. He come finish her off, finish finish Man Boy off. Cause she like, he came to the door, she, she cho- he chokes her, he, she stabs him. And then I'm like, why, man, why, why Franklin just didn't come out when he first, when he, when he when she first stabbed him, you know what I mean? So he yeah. kind of waited for a little bit before he came out and put the slug in him at first. Yeah, yeah, yep, he did. He did, because he could have, because he waited. He waited. Yeah. He waited. I think waited. he wanted. I, I think he wanted them to try to kill each other. You know, what I'm saying that he can kind of come know, in, kind of, you know. He set that up because if you think he about it, up. he if you think about it, no, he set it up like he knew man what, what was going to try to kill her and choke her and all mm-hmm. that because he she was sitting there in the robe in some pajamas, but like yeah. and, and she had and she like and she had the knife on her already. Had a big she had a big boy knife too. She had the big, big boy, boy knife. knife. Like, he had been, yeah, he'd Franklin been knew that was going to happen, so Franklin was he knew. You know, oh, they all planned that. Put the, put the knife right there. I don't want you to have a gun. Don't kill him right now. I want you to stab him just to get him off of you so then I can walk up. Like, ah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, let him know. Let him know. Yeah, but I, yeah, thought man, so. I thought man boy should have went out a different way, though. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to go out like, you know, they're going to shoot him up bang, bang type style. You know what I mean? I thought they were going to go down like that. But it went down a frankly kind of way where it was like, I'm setting him up. I'm gonna kill him slow, let him know how I go. But just to see how he how he he shot him, and he's on the floor, and man boy just still talking that shit to him. Man, talk, like, hey, that's hey, that's hey, man, man boy, boy talking boy. that. Hey, man boy talking that shit to him. Like you just you just you fuckers wrong. You just his yeah. bitch. <laughs> just, man, they gonna turn on you. They, they, they gonna turn Lou on Lee, you. Uh, hey, Lou Lee, I was like, oh, this nigga's hard, boy. You, you, gonna let, <laughs> you let you let him you let that girl gut up your man. And you ain't do nothing about it. And you you, you take an order you you take an order from a bitch I've been setting your life oh he talking that shit he talking that shit to him exactly and he come Franklin bow bow nigga, nigga I always talk too much talk too much <laughs> right in the throat bow he talk hey hey Jerome, he go Jerome 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 like finish that man finish that nephew go ahead finish yep. that nephew hey finish that dude you, finish hey, that. he had to bro you better you had better to. finish it. Hey, hey, you, you can just see up his, you see up his wrong like a, a proud daddy boy. He's standing behind the whole thing like a proud daddy boy. Proud daddy, that boy had that hat on with that penalty. The hey, boy was bro, like, hey, hey, that boy was ready like, for war right there. Man, he war ready, bro. He, hey, bro, he was looking like like Easy E. He looked like Easy yeah. E had the hat with the Jerry curl, <laughs> with the, the black jacket, with the gold chain on. Oh, with the, hey, with the, he ain't man, taking that the, gold chain off. He don't care he what's going that, on. Hey, the way he shot up the car with them boys in the car, he like, like it's business out here, man. It's, it's it's going down, you know what I'm saying? He was ready for broad, broad daylight. Little broad street, daylight. Let you have it. We broad hey, walk back upstairs. We good. <laughs> we good. She tried, she tried to sleep out the door. Who you think you going? Get back in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She tried to sleep out the door. Get your ass up. Who you think you going? Oh man, bro, yeah, tell so me what that, you think. Yeah, go ahead. No, and I was just saying about T how she tried to slip out and, and Jerome just kind of walked in on like, nah, nah, you gonna handle, you gonna you gonna take this one, you gonna take this. Oh yeah, yeah, you gonna, you gonna take that, hey, man. I, okay, what you think, bro?